Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Beller Family Fun. I've got some parts in, got about half the boxes of stuff that I've ordered in, so I figured I'll wait to install them. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's get installing them. All right, so the first two boxes that came in, the five panel mirror that's gonna go up here, and then I got the, uh, what do you call them, the hip guards or whatever that goes on either side. And then yesterday when Tyler and I were watching our neighbor drive his uh, remote control boat in the lake, he had mentioned he had some extra seats. So we went and took a look at them and I got them. So I got a screaming deal on those. So we're also, might as well just integrate these right in. Let's get started. All right, so here's what the seats are gonna look like. Wow, wow that thing's cool. Look at that. It is so cool. That's gonna be some nice seats. Yeah, let's take the old ones off and put the new ones on. Is this open? Nope. I don't have a torque to that big, so I'm gonna go with an Allen wrench and just try not to tear it up. I'm gonna just right there. Put over and put the other side on. Oh. Not okay. This bolt back here, there's bolts back here that hold this plastic piece onto this metal bracket. The bolt goes through turn, into a piece turn. of wood that holds to the back of this piece of wood and it's all rotted and that's just spinning. So I'm gonna have to get some pliers, hold that and see if I can't ratchet it off. Hey, my turn, my turn. I'm practicing Ninja Warrior by myself and when I get to here, I win. You win. Good job. All right. Hmm. Get it? Got it. Okay. My dad's going to get screws for anyone who needs help with the golf cart. Then we have a red and white flag that belongs at the top of the golf cart. Then we have some little tools there. Then put them up, put them, put them back in. Catch on the next one. Like this. Ooh, much better finished look. All right, the new, the new seats did not come with this little plastic back, but the cart came with them. So put these on, they could use a little, little treatment. Maybe I'd paint them. I don't know, can you paint that? I might be able to try painting those when I take it all apart, cause see all this rust and everything. I'm just gonna clean it off for now, but I'm gonna take all the metal pieces off and I'm gonna repaint all of these at some point, hey, different projects. Different project day. Hey. You got your own. Do this do? one screwed in to the seat. This one just What's this? goes through the holes. Actually, I'm not even sure if this one's going to bolt what's up right. Hey, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll try it out. Okay, what I've come to the conclusion is the back seat is definitely different, and I have two front seats. So I have to decide what am I going to do? Am I going to modify those seats or modify back here to make them fit? I don't know if there's any other option because I do like the, uh, I like the pattern a lot. I want it, I want it to match. But for now, also what I did do is I flipped this bar right side up. It was upside down. And every time I tried to lift this seat, it would catch. So I flipped that, I'm going to put it back on and verify that I am correct. And we'll just roll with these seats for now so that I can move on to, I need to put that bracket. I ordered two, I ordered another one. So I'm gonna put that bracket on this seat. When the next one comes in, I'll put it on. And then I think I'm gonna move to the, uh, the mirror. And that's all the stuff I got unless something shows up today. So keep moving forward. Find one. Back to where they go so I can find my socket. 
look, I made a tower with it. All right, will you look under? Status update. The back is put back together. The front is buttoned up. I put the bracket on the front so it hinges on there, but not over here. Got some footprints already. These are locked in. The bars flipped, so this is up so that the flip seat actually flips without getting hung up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the seats. The back, the other back fits. I just have to drill holes and make that connection because the holes don't line up. As far as the back seat, the front seat is much larger than the back seat. So I might cut it down and wrap it something along those lines. Just modify it so that it fits here and then just screw it to the bottom. Then it'll be nice and pretty. I think that's the route I'm probably going to go. But right now, what are we gonna install, Tyler? To a ride. You wanna take a ride? Let's put the mirror in and then we'll take a ride. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Let's All right, we'll see how this goes. Okay, today, today Dad's putting on the Mega Mirror. And, and welcome to the Valor Family Fun. That he's putting the Mega Mirror here on. Then, let's go on a ride. Wait a minute, you forgot to bring your camera. I'm gonna, here's your camera. Here's your camera. Here's your camera. Hey, everybody. I am sorting out all the screws and nuts and bolts and brackets and I'm looking at the pictures on the instructions because there's no time for reading instructions and I'm going to bolt it up here so I don't see any measurement numbers so I'm just going to kind of put the brackets on the mirror put them hold the mirror up mark the holes drill the holes screw it together should be done in like five seconds well, maybe 25 with my help. We got some good help here today. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. I want to tell you something. Hey, wait a minute. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Hey, hey Daddy, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something. Tell me. So you, I'm going to show you where you put the mirror. Oh. Look at me. Go ahead. You put the mirror right here and right there. Uh, it might work. Might work. It might work. So, working on the mega mirror. Oh, look, it's videoing us. Yes, it's videoing us. Is that a good thing or bad thing? It's a good thing. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, it started raining, so I have not... Uh, I pretty much finished what I wanted to get done other than that back seat because that's going to take some modifications, but I did get the uh, five panel mirror in and the fancy new, what do we call them, Oreo seats. So I think we're going to name this car Oreo. I think that's the, the name that we're going to go with. But now, obviously, I've changed clothes. We're going to head over to uh, Uncle John's house. We got, uh, I got up early about uh, 5.30 or so this morning and started a brisket. May have cooked it a little hot too fast, but should be okay. Uh, I've got it packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna head to Uncle John's house and have a little birthday party for Devaney and uh, maybe, maybe a little extra 4th of July mixed in there as well. We'll find out when we get there. There should have a water slide and some things like that, so. That's where we're headed next. All right, it is the next day. And while we were gone at uh, Devaney's birthday party, which by the way was a blast and had a great time, the heavy duty leaf springs came in and the slow moving vehicle sign. So we're gonna try to get that done today. Uh, happy 4th of July, by the way. Today for me is 4th of July. If you're seeing this afterwards, I hope you had a great and safe 4th of July. Right now I'm gonna work on those heavy duty leaf springs. Now my brother did it on his golf cart and he had some trouble. So I'm hoping to learn from some of his mistakes and uh, not get not get caught in some of the, uh, the binds that he got caught in. So I'm gonna do that now. Time to get started. Let's bust out a wrench. Wiggle it off. There you go. You get it. There you go. In front of the front wheel.
All right, got that knocked out. That was uh, a lot easier than uh, what John made it out to be. Just kidding, he had one jack and two jack stands, where I had multiple jack stands and multiple jacks. So it was a lot easier for, uh, for Joey and I to knock this out. But we got the new heavy duty springs in there, ready to go. We got a big mess to clean up. As you can see, it started raining really hard when uh, we were working on it. That's why we had to shut the garage door because it was raining all the way in on us. And uh, now that we've got the garage door open, I'm looking out and seeing everything that I took out of the garage and it got rained on. So got some of that stuff. But we're in a dry spot, so let's go ahead and clean this up. Hopefully this will all blow out of here. I see some blue sky over there. Come on, blue sky, come on out. And this evening, uh, we got some uh, friends coming over for dinner and hopefully a fireworks show at nine o'clock this evening. All right, it is the next morning. I hope everyone had a great and safe 4th of July. What was your thing about favorite thing about the 4th of July? I'm going to I'm going to guess the fireworks. Yeah. What was your favorite firework? The rainbow one. What did it do? It it's the rainbow one that goes oh, That was a good one. Joe, what was your favorite like firework? I, I don't really know, but if I had to pick one, I think it was like the one that just kept on going. Broom, 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 that was exciting as well. I think that was Deadly Rampage. They all have fun names like that. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all on the next one. Bye, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>